Over here is the Toyota Land Cruiser. It is the most reliable full-sized SUV currently available. However, it is not available globally, at least not anymore. Now this is the Toyota Land Cruiser 300, but I kept calling it Toyota Land Cruiser. I always forgot the 300. Here in Belgium, the Toyota Land Cruiser used to have a very big name, just like the Nissan Patrol and just like the Mitsubishi Pajero, also known as the Mitsubishi Montero. This big Land Cruiser was a big deal back in the days, in the 90s at least. Now, in the 2010s, Toyota took the decision to discontinue the Land Cruiser here in the EU market. For the exterior design, Toyota has played it very evolutionary to the previous generation. So they've just gone down a bit of a sharp edge design, especially for the rear. It's become more prominent. Now you do get keyless entry, judging by the marking written over here. Uh, and for the rest, uh, you get chrome on the rear view mirrors. No. LED lights everyone and you get a 360 degree parking camera you get parking sensors at the front and at the rear now for the front Toyota has played it evolutionary and it's really interesting how they go about it although to be honest I'm not a fan of this kind of design I I think the previous generation had a better design it had a more proud uh, grill whereas here what they've done is just added an extra grill and uh, it doesn't in my opinion it doesn't look great but then it doesn't matter. It can depend on the color you choose. For instance, take a look at that Land Cruiser over there. This is a armored version Land Cruiser. So you can imagine who the potential buyer is. It's probably a government official. I'm not going to be surprised because I see the lighting at the front and uh, you see the grill looks nicer, especially in the black paint. <clears throat> All right, now it is time to check out the interior of the Toyota Land Cruiser. Now, just don't mind, there, there's a lot of plastic onto it because it is ready to be shipped, everyone. Very interesting Toyota Land Cruiser right here. All right, so I have to say that the interior presentation is very basic. In fact, it's just built to last. But then I also noticed a number of problems. First of all, I look at this area, you get this huge lump of plastic that doesn't seem to have a purpose whatsoever. I understand, oh my goodness. You get a little shutter right here that had me thinking it's an additional storage space. And in reality, it's just for the port, charging port and USB point. You get huge cup holders right here. Wow. Okay, and you can even adjust their height a bit. That's uh, that's that's good. Just trying to understand something here. Then you get two. Uh, oh, yes, you get a central console storage, but don't let the size judge you. Uh, don't, but don't let the size fool you into thinking it's a big central console. It's uh, it's a bit. Yeah, it's a cool box. That's what it is. You can keep uh, the items in there cool. Good fridge, good little fridge, especially when you're in a hot country. Now over here you get a glove box which is very spacious and practical, that's good, it's decent. Uh, oh, you get a sunroof, that's quite nice, and you can even pull this closed if needed. And you also get a glasses holder, I like that. Door bin is very small. That's the thing I find a bit funny. The Toyota Land Cruiser is about the size of a mammoth, yet the practicality solutions are worse than what I've seen on a German competitor. It is bulletproof in terms of reliability though. All right, so this is your infotainment system, but uh, oh dear, this is like something you really have to get used to. This is something completely different from uh, what I've seen uh, here in the EU market. So, uh, I mean, I like the details. It's easy to navigate around. Usually most infotainment systems would have a, ah, okay. A system where you can reach the, for instance, I wanted to see the 360 degree parking camera. I cannot see that for some reason. I cannot, I, do, I, I just can't use it. So the climate control is there. Okay, you can control the climate from the infotainment system. That's good. It's like, I just want to click the button that will bring me to the map. And it's been already five minutes. I just can't figure it out how to do it. Look at the bonnet of the Land Cruiser. It's like as if I'm in a jet or something. Now, this is the part where the Land Cruiser shines, the off-road controls. Now, uh, this, these are the driving modes. You can choose from Eco, Sport, and Normal. Well, Normal and Sport. Drive mode. Uh, okay, I honestly... Ah, okay. Ah, these are off-road controls. I see what's going on, right. Over here, I can already see you get a detailed uh, climate control. That's really good. And it's, wow, this has to be the most detailed climate control I've ever seen. 
there's just uh, and then also you get uh, USB points, HDMI, 12 volt socket. You can literally live on the back seat. So I think the purpose of this is because uh, sometimes when you're in the middle of nowhere, you do need as much things to depend on as possible. It's good. And then also the back of the seat is a bit, it's on hard plastic side, but uh, I guess it's decent enough. And then over to the boot space. Now, one thing to note is that the boot lip is hard plastic. So therefore, when putting luggage in and out, you won't have any chances of denting the body paint. Now, just one thing to note is that the, because of the color of the plastic and the fabric, it's easy for it to catch uh, mud or it will get worn easily in long term. So just be careful with that. Uh, yes, as you get uh, tether points on the side. <laughs> nice quality. I can only imagine what this is. Nice, uh, the, it's nice that you get seven seats in the back. That's good. All seven seats have been activated for this Land Cruiser. You get cup holders for the uh, third row passengers. I can only imagine the legroom for the third row passengers. You get a 220 volt socket for the boot space. Good. Oh, and you get this to uh, fold down the back seats. Oh, oh, that's pleasant. So here's my conclusion of the Toyota Land Cruiser 300. This Toyota Land Cruiser 300 is the 4x4 for you if you need a bit of comfort, but if you happen to be traveling a lot. This is a 4x4 you can actually live in. But if you are looking for status, forget it. If you are looking for technology, forget it. If you are looking for family friendliness, yeah, it has potentials, but would you really get this uh, when taxes are high, especially here in the EU market? You all be the judge. But this is perfect for markets outside Europe. And uh, it, it makes a lot of sense because I can see that this ha they really did put priority in the reliability and functionality aspect of things. They wanted to focus on the fact that this is a car that will travel from A to B without anything falling off, without any uh, trip to the garage for reparations and maintenance. Well, you still need to do your maintenance, but this is a car that can withstand abuse just like the Toyota Hilux and other Land Cruisers, basically any Toyota 4x4. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. I will see you all next time.